how to do the first tutorial in surfacing in this tutorial we're going to be having an introduction about surfaces so let's start a sketch in one of these plans and to reach to the surface place you have to right click on this bar here and then you have surfaces so surfaces is a toolbox by itself in SOLIDWORKS which have some tools working with so with surfaces they are quite familiar with the features we were talking about in the previous tutorials so but in these toolbox they are in the surface level if you are familiar with the inventor inventor making only one tool set for example like the feature in works and there are options always for creating the surface so in inventor they are one set but here they are two different toolboxes so here we have the surfaces and also you can reach the surfaces from insert surface and you have your surface tools okay now let's start making a sketch let's make a very simple spline exit then exit that sketch so now we have this line if you go to the feature try to extrude it so you will extrude it like a solid body with a thickness you see here the thin feature is activated so you can make it one millimeter or smaller then okay so here you have a body or a solid bar so if you look here to the left solid bodies so this is considered that extrude thin as a solid body but the surface is something different so let's delete this extrude and go to the surface instead so let's activate the surface tool and if you look here you have the extruded surface this activated select that now you have a surface let's just try to find this arrow here so now we extrude that surface when you are done okay so the difference now if you look here the left tree you have a surface body the surface has no mass no volume just it is a, a, a view to a surface it's because in the future you are able to add thickness and so on after working that surface so this is the first introduction about surfaces the next tutorial we're going to continue talking about the extrude and contours so see you in the next tutorial.